Hello YouTube, welcome. I am It's Java Chip and today we are starting my first ever playthrough of Life is Strange. Not only is this my first ever playthrough, I know nothing, nothing about the game. I have not seen a trailer, I have not seen a playthrough, I've not even read a little mini synopsis for the game. So I'm going in completely without any information. Hopefully you'll be here for the ride. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, I would love if you could leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your favorite bit, potentially subscribe to the channel. I'm not saying you have to, I might be nice. It's up to you, make it through the end of the video, see how you feel. All I know is that this game has been hotly requested by my community. So hopefully you enjoy watching it as much as I hopefully enjoy playing it. Before I accept the terms and conditions, just wanna let you guys know, I already said this earlier on, I don't know anything about this game. I've looked up nothing about it very intentionally and I've managed to go my whole life not even knowing anything about this. However, there is a potential for potentially triggering or sensitive content in this game. I believe that there was a photo sensitivity warning that came up. So please, if you are someone who also knows nothing about this game, I'm gonna link the thread for the trigger warnings in the description of this video. Please read through the trigger warnings before you decide to watch this game. Again, that link to that tweet will be in the description below. Episode one, Chrysalis. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Sorry, that's really loud for me. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Okay, now the only thing I'm nervous about um, since my decisions have impact, I wasn't sure if this game was like a like a, the quarry if it was more like a what remains of Edith Finch where you're just playing through the story. but it looks like I have an impact on what happens. And that makes me nervous. I don't want to get a bad ending or something, but I inevitably will since I continuously overthink these things. Okay. Mark, Chloe, BFF, Pirates, BFF Pirates, 2008. Poor thing. It's probably now is not the time to explore, but Come I mean, on, there's a you can make it. okay. There's a massive tornado. Maybe, maybe let's go. We'll just hopefully I get to re-explore this. I know, elegant death. I'm awkward. I mean, I'm I'm uh, nervous. Holy shit. Massive tornado. Oh my god. This has to be a dream, surely. Hey, awkward, how are you? Edith Finch, I haven't played it, but I watched a synopsis of it and it's crushed me. I played it, I have the playthrough. <gasps> that was so surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. Hang on. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light 
to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Bueller? There you go, Victoria. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me mm. now. Poor thing. Why are this? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted I can't believe I, I should take a picture to prove I'm still here. She saw Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. And I have to get my daily selfie quota. Keep that to yourself. I do love my analog camera. I could frame any I should take a quick picture now. And capture you in a moment of desperation. I played through Edith Finch. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word I need to upload for a it wonderful to photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Price, Max, welcome in. since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, you asking me? You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. All right, now calm down. Totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. <laughs> the Daguerrean process brought out fine detail. Price feel welcome in. I'm glad you're excited extremely to watch. Extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American Daguerreotype self-portrait um, was done by Robert Cornelius. Let's look at my journal. You can find out all about him. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Is now a really good time to read it? Oh, okay. And guys, Too don't many choices. To submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, those Max, shorts are so short. My school would never allow that. Deary me. Thank you for the follows, guys. I'm so happy you're here. Welcome in. Would love to hear oh, doesn't waste a second kissing ass. your um, thoughts course, and experiences Victoria with the game. has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Should I really be using someone of else's course. tablet? Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. No, I feel like I shouldn't use her tablet. That seems wrong. Um, I may be less chatty with you guys than usual, but it's obviously just... The game is a bit Black more involved. Spent bank on the computers here. What's what's going on here? Looks like somebody was already working on this. Oh, cool. someone's in Photoshop. Cephaloon, welcome in. Currently watching your Elden Ring playthrough on YouTube and came here to follow. Turns out you're live. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for enjoying. I'm so appreciative. There will be more Elden Ring tomorrow. Um, but hopefully this is a bit of your bag as well. I don't know. Oh, hi Max. Um, I hope I didn't embarrass you. Why would I have embarrassed her? You seem quiet. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Um, you want to go grab a cup of tea? I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Poor thing. She's got massive dark circles under her eyes. Etched marks. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Rachel and Amber forever. Okay. Maybe I should look at the tablet. It feels a bit... I don't want to leave anything unturned, but it's not my tablet. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. With all the speed and power expected from a new greenlit, the... Greenlit 64S is packed with expanded features and manageability. It shoots what you want, where you want, straight out the camera. JPEG images already have superb quality, including a new depth, level of depth, sharpness, and malleability. For, oh God, that's a lot of money. Also, this is so, 
I, <laughs> I feel like this is such an asshole thing to say, but they don't use the Oxford comma and that makes me very upset. It bothers me each time. Excuse me. Max, thank Mr. you, Jefferson, Max. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Oh! Uh, do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Good teacher. That was really sweet. And thank you, Elegant Death. Thank you so much. I massively appreciate that. Because again, I feel guilty. Um, should I look at her? Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Okay, I don't think there's anything else for me. Should I teach the guy the class now? Oh, okay. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. It feels a bit awkward. He probably to... paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine grand. digital images. But I still dig... Oh. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Okay. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Ah. Cephaloon, thank you so much for um, gifting a sub. That is so sweet. Yes, all the love and hype. I'm so thrilled that you guys are here. Thank you hey, for hanging out with me. He has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Okay. Look at him! Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? Because he don't believes know if I'm in ready you. For my 15 minutes of infamy. Oh, that's so sweet. Submit an image to the best th that best represents yourself or others in heroic action. Oh God. They will all fly San Francisco and represent their school in the National Everyday Heroes Competition at the Zeitgeist Gallery. I don't like. I'm very nervous. I feel like things are so not going to cool go well. So check these out anytime. The okay. decisive moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson. That's rare. Any leap of it's mad respect. Mad the amazing respect. Eugene Smith. Good to see Abaddon among the masters. Golly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. Oh yeah, I guess Dolly I guess did take photos. Okay. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Cute. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Bless her. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Synapse. Noir beauty. Okay. Cool. Oh, all right. I think this is the last thing to interact with. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Oh, bless her. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Fairly fucking cool. And look at her tucked away behind the others. She does seem so shy. Bless. Um, RH, um, our hat fan, welcome in. Is this a solve a mystery game? No. Or at least I don't think so. I, I think this is more like a playable story. Your decisions, you know, have an impact on what goes on. Um, you didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. But I've not looked up anything about the game. Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Then I might send you a special picture during class. What's the point of even having Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. Getting She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I'm confused. Why does she need to go to the toilet? She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant tank. Oh, kids are so mean. 
Cephaloon, I just read your message. That makes me so happy. I'm so thrilled that you're here with us. Thank you. Daisy Bean, hello. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Okay. Multiple missing people, do we think? Arcadia Bay, 19 year old. Okay. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Oh, bless her. Give it up. We use technology as a learning tool, not to be cruel. Cool. Is it TOS safe? Probably not. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. The music is pretty loud in this tested, moment for me as well. She doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Yeah, don't smoke. If you care, don't pollute. Excuse me. Don't pollute the air. We all deserve clean lungs. Hi, Justin. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana! With the little bra peeking out. This is peak 2015. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Okay. Oh no! Not. Poor Daniel. He's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. That's so sad. I think he's a Vortex Club member. I think Daniel's in our in our class. Okay, hang on. It looks like she's been gone for months. This is the same... I think that's the same poster. Let's just double check really quickly. <clears throat> hey, hip hops. You bought this game on a hunch back then and no other game has ever made me so angry that I had to wait months for the next chapter. Oh, they released it in piecemeal. Yes. Person. Yeah, it's the same person. Okay. There is one person. Oh, Evan? Evan doesn't say much to me. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. His photos are very cool. Sorry, guys. Save so Arcadia Bay. I should contact them to find out what I can do. Over the past decade, the climate change has altered the Oregon coastline, including fish and uh, yeah, fish and fauna. This has helped decimate the state's fishing industry, especially in Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution, save our historic town. The girl went missing in Arcadia Bay. Don't need a PC. Missed the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Wow, PC laptop, six hundred dollars. I feel like that's a good deal. Okay, Halloween time. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. Same with the with the blood poster. We just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar to dropped out. All of you, American girls, it's There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually... Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Like Lame. Okay. Is it is it uh, is it still too loud for you guys? It's loud for me, but I assume it's meant to be loud. Okay, so they're in high school. Figures Juliet but be dating Zachary. Just dormitories. Up in the vortex club. Which would explain what she meant when she said that person, the cheerleader girl, lives on my floor. God, I think Julie. Is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. I've turned the volume down for you guys. Is it still too loud? He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Oh, You don't know that. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. 
Okay, same missing poster. She's so pretty. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Do we talk to Trevor? He's cute. Oh he yes, we did. Halloween party. Yay, Halloween. My favorite time of year. Okay, the lighthouse is a big part here. The lighthouse again. Okay. I need to go splash some water on my face oh. and freshen up first. I forgot. I got too wrapped up in everything else. I forgot that that was our original motive. Bathroom to sway. Are you cleaning outside the bathroom? Um, maybe it's through the doors. Actually, thank you so much for lurking. Would be fun. Oh. Do I not get to go through here? Uh. Um, I'm pretty sure the sign for the bathroom. Yeah, bathrooms this way. Oh, maybe this is a bathroom? Yes, here's the bathroom. Sorry. It's a boarding school, so. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Oh, this cute. It's the music she's listening to. Well, I'm glad she kept it on repeat. I've just turned, um, <gasps> Rachel Amber is a bitch. This is the girl that's missing. Now, bother to write that crap? Isn't that the name of the girl that's missing? Oh, cute. Um, I, like the universe is I just turned the volume back up. Let today. me know if it's too loud. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Okay. Before I use the sink, anything else? Poster, let's take a look. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. <laughs> Fuck you. I know, but you're protecting others. Tampon dispenser, don't need that just yet. <clears throat> this poster <clears throat> must drive people to have sex. Kate twerks for God. If you're not gonna twerk in the Lord's name, then why, why are you twerking? Hmm? Back it up for Jesus. <laughs> okay. I don't want to sound the fire alarm and get everyone in trouble. Let's use the sink. The sink. Oh my gosh. Lap dance for Jesus has received twerks from Kate. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Oh, bless her. Fuck it. No! Oh, that makes me so sad. <gasps> Thank you so much, when Red. When the door closes, a window opens. Mm. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Oh, no, I have to take the photo. Red, thank you so much for the gifted sub, too. Kate twerks for God. And for anyone that doesn't know what we're talking about, it's here. Kate twerks for God. Um, photograph it. Okay, great. Yeah, it's gonna fly away. Quick, quick, quick. And it lands on me. Where did it fly in from? Why are you in the woman's bathroom? Oh no, he wants to be alone. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? 
What are you doing? Oh, come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <gasps> no! What the oh, fuck? shit. How? <clears throat> How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Nothing pays. Welcome in. Hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Oh, now, shit. Can you give me oh, an example no. of a photographer who cannot believe this? The human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, oh. I might as well go all the way. Rewind. Hold L2 to rewind. Time. Ooh. I did it. I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, the human time machine. And white. Is that what Anybody? we think it is? Nothing phase welcome in very nice. deep. Very scary Don't stuff going out. on. Not yet. Go, um why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. Do we do the same like thing? Totally haunted by the eyes of Let's try doing the exact same thing. Sophie Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, exactly. I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Shh. I believe Why Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portrait? She can. Um, I have to use the bathroom. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. I should have said we I felt sick, but I didn't want to go to the nurse's office. Oh, shit. Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Likes. Courtney, welcome in. The process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again? This icon you means you can learn your... People's faces. This icon means you learn a useful tactic that may be able to use you... The first American Wait. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um, I guess... The Daguerrean process, invented by a French okay. painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. <laughs> nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. She's big mad. Because it gave the subjects clear defined features. Uh. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Um. Max is so far way ahead of it. Okay, gotta go. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career. She in wasn't in the class so before, was she? Melissa, get it together. The one in the Taylor, hoodie? Don't hide. Oh, no, I guess she I'm was. still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. You gotta go. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. An everyday hero? Do I have my camera? Yeah, yeah, I packed up my stuff. Imagine if we could all control Z. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. To be fair, I spent so much time earlier waiting to go to the bathroom. Surely I would have enough time to- I'd never to... let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um, I'm not sure if I have one. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. 
Given yourself the output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand picks by now. Yeah, but not one for the It'll contest. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't, don't forget Kate. Me. Kate's already... Oh. Oh, hang on. Press L1 to quickly undo your previous action. Okay, my my. You still have to do your homework this week, even if you're submitting your photo for the competition. Everybody. Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. You see the dilemma. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. Don't forget Kate, talk to her. Okay. I will interrupt Kate's twerking session for God and chat to her. Who, who is Kate? I don't, I'm not sure I remember which one Kate is. Please. Please. But I need to. I can't tell anybody. Hang on, I need Don't to move faster. Alyssa, Dana, Brooke, Brooke. Who is this? I don't know. Uh. Juliet. Kate was your other girl in the room. No, that was that was that wasn't the girl and the other girl in the room. No, I'm, I'm that was uh, Victoria. No, I can't let that girl die in the bathroom. I know, just we, we're not. We're running so quickly. Taylor, Courtney, Kate. Oh no! I talked to the girl in the. Oh no! Oh no! Let me back in. Let me back in. Oh, Kate. I was gonna get tea with you, wasn't I? Oh shit. And now because I've taken too long, I'm not gonna get tea with Kate and I'm not gonna save the girl in the bathroom dying. Can I just rewind right now? No. No, they're like, mistakes were made. I forgot, I forgot. I was in such a rush thinking I had to go to the bathroom. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, yeah. and I took a photo. Well, we don't need to do all that. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? You are not affected by the rewind. Down. Tell me what to do. Oh, oh firebell, firebell. I need a hammer to break it open. Uh, I use the broom. Trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even. Or the hammer underneath the broom. That gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit! I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. On drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! What? Missed your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! <sighs> oh, shit! Tell me what oh, I keep do. the hammer with I'm me. So sick of people trying to control me. Sorry. No way. Don't I didn't realize I kept it with me. I'm sorry. Hip hops, tell me you're lying. Delsman, yo. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Okay. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Zero, hey! Do not freak out. Zero and Izu, welcome in. Also, I'm hey, not safe scumming in this. That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. 
or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. We're not even gonna... We're not concerned whether or not there actually is a fire. Thank you, Nothing Face. I'm a hero. Also, I am not gonna be doing any save scumming in this game. So whatever decisions I make, whatever mistakes I make, I have to just stick with it, unfortunately. Thank you, Principal. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? I do you need to learn how to think in four dimensions. Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Oh, um. Oh, God. Um. Report Nathan because he has a gun. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, I mean, he wasn't talking to down. himself. Slow down. He was threatening someone so else. Now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then, then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you going to bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. Damn. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Black. I know it's going to have consequences, but Should it's the I right thing to do. Because then imagine if I didn't tell, and then he goes and he's still got the gun. At least now people know that he has a gun and he's dangerous. Money, money, money. I know. Thank you all so much for being here, by the way. I realize I'm not as chatty with you guys as I normally am. But I'm thrilled that all of you are here. Thank you so much. And hopefully you're enjoying yourselves. Mistakes have been made. I reckon. I'm mad I didn't talk to Kate. That's probably... Wait! Kate was the name of the girl in the classroom with us that she didn't want to get tea with me. That's the girl they're saying twerks for Jesus? That feels... I feel like you would do like Julie Rachel twerks Amber. for Jesus. She looks so hopeful and pretty. Not Kate. I wonder what happened to her. Yeah. Kate was one guessing her ass, yeah, but she... Wasn't she quite like a shy, sort of wallflower type girl? Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. Yeah, obviously, someone's missing. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. <laughs> Best slice in Arcadia Bay. Cute. Um, okay, you don't want to talk to me, Hayden. Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. <laughs> you look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Um, Vortex Club? What the hell is the Vortex Club, anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one mm, night. Then nice. you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Um, hang with the Vortex you Club? hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Gosh. Relax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Yeah, but she's Mark, missing, you absolute you bozo. You know. 
Um, Rachel. We're not going to say anything about Nathan because I think the more we talk about Nathan, the more we draw attra attention to ourselves. So we're just going to say... So you knew Rachel Amber. Let's talk about Rachel. I knew she liked the party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Hayden. This feels so inappropriate. This girl is missing. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Like, get brutally murdered, probably. Yeah, Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Okay. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Why are you... This girl is missing, you absolute heathen. Oh, we should talk about Nathan. I feel weird you leaving really the option there. Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Fuck the haters, bruh. He seems unstable. He seems genuinely unstable. To I'm me. drawing too much Nick attention has to myself. His extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. I do not like Hayden does not pass the vibe check for me at all. Thank you, by the way, Elegant Death, for saying that. Stephanie, you never played it. I wonder if it is possible to not save the girl since the game seems decision driven. I feel like that's a good honestly, it's a good question. I almost feel like you have to. I can't imagine that they would let Brooke you do that not has a like, drone. that early on, you know? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. Maybe. I don't you know. You wanna fly my drone? Uh, is this legal? Seems like <laughs> I'm just the fun police over here. Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Why would it be illegal to fly the drone? Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? A drone? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. I am absolutely never getting invited to anywhere fun ever again. Okay, let's try and do, let's try, that was a mistake on, so we'll try and do a bit better. Also, Oregon in October, but people are in shorts. And the tree, it's cold enough that the trees have shed leaves, so that seems a bit peculiar. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know Thank you. you, Hip Hop. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He, I think so. I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us black little hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Oh. Why am I going to pretend like I don't know Victoria? Now that you mention it. Now that you mention it, he doesn't respond to Victoria's flirting. That means he has good taste. You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. What is wrong with you people? This girl is missing. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clip. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Why does this... Do, doesn't this look like, um... What's his name? Jack Torrance? The actor who plays Jack Torrance? Jack Nicholson. That totally looks like Jack Nicholson here. Oh. Okay. Uh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. We're going too quickly. Who's Warren? He looks cute. Hang on. All. Okay. 
Someone said you can rewind, you have powers. You can always rewind, but I don't... I don't want to rewind unless I have to. Because I want to just... I'm just choosing my gut instinct and I just have to suffer with whatever the consequences are. You know what I mean? Unless it's so not the right way to play the game, it's going to ruin something for me. Then let me know, I guess. Okay. Do you want to meet for coffee after school? I need an excuse not to study. Please. Oh, make sure you check out neck romantic neck romantic on my flash drive mwa ha 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 is again peak 2015 why am i not replying to him hey max let's bust shit up wait i have to study for physics test so if we bust anything we also have to measure its velocity don't ignore this message oh god hi max can you get my flash drive i need some info and space do you think like computer drive space or like emotional space hello sorry running late insane day yeah i just saved someone from getting murdered i'll meet you in the lot looking cool you'll see my camera will be ready see you shortly i hope so okay oh. i better get to my dorm hang on kate hey max you around always you okay did you want to get tea later today absolutely it'll be free at four ttyl Happy birthday, Maxine. That was in September. We can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were... I'm 18 years old? Why did I think I was like 14 or 15? I'm sorry. It feels... Okay, well, at least it makes sense why people are talking about sex and shit. I thought these were like 15-year-olds. I'm sorry. Was that clear? Should I have known that we're 18? And then Warren. Okay. Oh, dad. I haven't read dad. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. How much did you give me? We don't know. Okay. Grab that flash drive. Okay, let's look at this. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Okay. So anyone else that I should talk to whilst we're here? Well, I respect your choices and so will the game. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have people come in and go, how is it possible that you played the game in this way? But at the very least, I would have given you guys a different experience of the game than maybe you would have had. This looks like uh, Charlie Chaplin or the other person who had Charlie Chaplin's moustache. That's one of his famous shots. I love how it captures the moment. Okay, I need to go to my dorm for the flash drive. Let's continue talking. Uh, before I do, she's decided she's gonna break the game mechanic. I'm not trying to. Yeah, no spoilers, no spoilers. Let's play Spider-Man and not shoot any webs. I'm not gonna play it in a boring way. I'll rewind when needed. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um ask you a question? Would you mind? letting me sketch you oh. i do put my sketches on facebook though i'd be honored of I'd course be honored, Daniel. makes me feel like a muse funny you should say that you are I was my just muse thinking about my real muse <laughs> rachel amber i regret it don't draw me anymore i am just your second pick also rollo going let's play spider-man and not shoot any webs to be fair rollo you I think you did see me play Spider-Man and I was terrible at shooting webs. So... So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Oh, it's the first compassionate person that we've had. No, Jesus. but once she asked me to draw her portrait, oh, she was a natural. Okay. <clears throat> Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. That somehow feels worse. Oh, that somehow feels way worse. Don't call me the substitute. Good. Good. I 
I should ask my dad if birthdays are expensive for him and his three daughters. Look at how his well he did. Best portrait ever. And she's thrilled with it. Okay. I think the rewind thing is pot. Oh, the action will have consequences. Oh, it's not that I will never rewind. But I'll... I'll... I'll rewind when I see fit. How about that? We'll see. Oh, thanks, it pops. Wait, hear me out, Java. Just a theory. Do you think the game at first is part of the ending? Wait, just a theory. Do you think the dream at first is part of the ending, maybe? Um... No. Okay, before I interact with this, to answer your question, my assumption is, and obviously no one spoil this for me, I'm just kind of theorizing aloud. I sort of feel like the thing that happened at the beginning doesn't actually happen, but it's like an amalgamation or like representation of things that kind of like do happen. I think it's representative of things. Like whatever the graffiti was, I think was really important. I forget the names on it. It might have even been Rachel's name now that they think about it. And that sort of thing. But I don't think it's a literal event that happens. The only right way to play any game is a Java way. Yes, Nephilim. You're thinking correctly. I oh. like to see it. Vortex Club sucks. All right, Luke. What have you got for me? And yes, CM. Yeah, I would love to see artwork of me. Who wouldn't? That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Does that mean that you're happy that it happened? Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Why? What's wrong? What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. It's okay, I've you already snitched on him. Um, I'm definitely not gonna say that I busted him. That's not just really. silly. I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, tell me. Nope, he's just a dick. We've nope, got to stick with it. he's just an entitled dick with a lot of money. Not my type. Somebody needs to take that prick down. I only have one. Cost me a bloody fortune, Java. He'll take, He'll himself, take himself down. down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Imagine Just having twins, CM. You sheeple. Sheeple! So rude. Okay, so he's definitely a lone wolf sort of type. Dormitories are up ahead. Let's see. Oh, Evan, maybe a little bit artsy, a little artsy. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Okay. I think his name is Evan. He always looks so intense. I can see that. Father Skies, though, to be honest, I'm curious about no rewind run, though. And that can only happen in the first run. Hey, Evan. Why is that? Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Or maybe don't tell me Let's it might spoil. Of it, Max. Paraguin, hi. Question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? I have no idea what who whose photograph that is. Um, Eugene Smith, Steve McCurry, Robert Kappa, Robert. Well, this is where one where I would use the rewind. So let's try and Gotta guess. Be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images, but you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. You're not gonna tell me. No, stop, 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 stop. I need to remember how to stop. All right, well, let's try that again. Hey, Evan, mind if I check out your cool portfolio? We do, Let's Lucy. see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Well, it wasn't Eugene Smith, obviously. Robert Kappa, Robert, okay, maybe it's one of the Roberts. Toisneau, I think I feel like Robert Toisneau is too hard of a name to make up. Isn't it Robert Dorno? Dorno. Oh my! You can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Yeah, you don't know that I know how to. Stop! 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 How the hell do I stop it? Stop! 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 Fuck! 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 No, stop, stop. No, 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 no. How do I stop it? Do I need to talk to him again? 
Hey, Rusu, let's go. L1 to go back to the most recent one instead of L2. I just rewound. I know the whole thing. Yeah, I know. Going back always the beginning of the game. How do I stop it, someone? Let me see if I need to rehab this conversation. Doki Doki, how's it going? What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I would be honest. Honor, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Just cut out my bloody heart, why don't you? Um... So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming Honestly, to Honestly, Myriad. <laughs> Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. We experienced her 18th birthday altogether. Okay. 17th. You knew her? No. Well, this is a good time to talk to you guys since we've already heard this. Well, Can someone bloody natural. tell me? Oh, I want to skip dialogue. Hard okay. To... me to see. Okay. Thank you. Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must. No, you're wait, the substitute. Wait, you're a good substitute, Muse. Abby, how do I get it to stop? To stop um, doing the rewind. So I don't rewind, so I don't do that again. Because now we need to have this conversation again and I'm gonna stick with the same answers I had chose before. Let go of L2, okay. But I don't think I was holding it, that's the thing. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. Uh, what's wrong? What's wrong? Nathan Prescott. Yes. Yes, he's a nasty. You, you know him. L1's the most recent checkpoint, okay. No, I don't no. know him. Sounds like Nope, he's just nope. a dick. Somebody. He'll take himself He'll down. Take yeah, his. Okay. Well, on the bright side, we've ruled out two people. And because there are two Roberts, it probably now has to be Robert Kappa, right? 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 Hey, Evan. Mind if. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Yep. You'll have to. Uh, Robert Kappa. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite Robert the Donut. controversy about that photo. I'm the only my donut. My. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. Yes. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? That's why I asked. It's not a privilege I grant to many. But I'd also, honored, relax. Alright, let's read it. Hey! These photos are great. Denisa! And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Damn. Everyone is so into Rachel. Anissa, I'm thrilled you're here. How's it going? How are you? All right. Can I run still? Yes, it's letting me run. Great. Let me just make sure I've spoken to everyone and then we'll go to the dorms. So I spoke to them for sure. Also, fuck this guy. Yeah, he's a bit, a bit of an odd one. Rachel missing poster. What poster is this? I could go for a burger now. Oh, now I want a burger. Join Blackwell Science Gamers Group. That's so cute on a quest for magic and adventure. Roll the 20 sided dice. Every Wednesday, Blackwell Science Lounge, 3 15 p.m., weekly games TBA. Please have knowledge of basic gaming rules and etiquette. Cosplay. He goes, cosplay and women welcome. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, yes. I love his t shirt. Raw. Definitely not the poster for Jaws. And he. I'm, I'm not trying to figure out. It's still a woman swimming, but I don't know what's behind it. Like what the main poster is. Times have changed, yeah. This is 2015, huh? Tom, no, yo! Check out the max. Come to thrash. I can't be a loser. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh, jump. No, please don't. Oh no. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip. You should walk on. 
Yeah, do a kick flip. Hang on. Uh... Yo, Justin. Check out the mat. Come to thrash? No. I came to no slide. Oh, no. I came to no slide. But I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. <laughs> nah. I just can't skate worth shit. Oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Uh, I said a tray flip. Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Gnarly. Oh, oh no! Are you okay? Oh no, Trevor. I'm- oh. <laughs> Let me photograph you in pain. I went over to try and help him. <laughs> Telephotogenic. Are you okay? I hope you enjoy your beer hoodie. Of course, when bear meets deer, you've got beer. Um, did you guys see how sick that was that I took advantage of someone's misfortune? Should I talk to you again? I'm stoked to see those photos framed and shit. You never really escape Betty though. Uh, should I lie and say I used to be? She likes skater guys, so I'm trying to help her out. I used to be, but Jovic yo. Now. I can tell. We need more girls out here. Rachel Amber and her punk friend used to skate with us. What does Rachel not do at this point, frankly? You knew Rachel? She used to chill with us sometimes, but one day she just vanished. I hope she's living the dream somewhere. If anybody hurt her, we'll get a skate posse and take them out with our boards. Who was Rachel's punk friend? I can't remember her name. She was hot. Tats, blue hair, hardcore. She stopped hanging out with us after Rachel disappeared. <laughs> ran away. Funny you should say that. I just saved someone like that. Do you ever hang out with Victoria? Fuck that. I'd rather rollerblade than hang out with snobs like her. Let's chill later, Justin. Anytime you want to take some action shots, we're here for you, Max. We've got an in with the skaters, guys. It's Max's dream come true. Um. Yeah, of course Rachel Amber was there. I know. Where wasn't Rachel Amber? The most well-loved person, apparently, but then people talk about her so disrespectfully. Um, oh, let's look at this. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Bible study. Looking to join fellow Christians to read and discuss. Thanks and God bless. Contact Kate M. Blackwell Academy. I see. These are people now why they mock Kate for twerking. For twi well, Kate twerks for God because she's leads up bible study bully much no bully thinks that they're a bully so think about that before you bully if you think you become a bully please go to www.bullyforyou.org.org or i guess oregon we'll stand up for you too much information be here now multitasking keeps you busy but not alive social media is no replacement for reality come visit the buddhist center Unless, of course, you're watching the stream right now or this on YouTube, then then just Warren's finish the, the episode. Flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get. Back and to then the and then put your phone down. <laughs> He's, oh, I need to go to the parking lot anyway. All right, well, is there anything else I should look at? It's, it's a swimming pool. I don't want to go that way. No, I know, but I do want to look at these things. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Okay. I'm not nope, sure. I don't want to go there. I just want to read. Otter power? I'm so not there. Otter power, can you swim to success? Join one of the top high school. Okay. Otter power, that's quite a cute way to. Oh! Oh, look, a picture of Rachel getting eaten by a shark. Oh, that's not nice. Poor oh, it's the otter. otter. Cigarette butts. Ooh, gross. At least switch to e cigs you don't know what e-cigs are going to do for your health, Max. Fountain looks cool. I didn't even see a fountain. How sad is that? I'm too busy focused on everything else. All right. 
I don't think there's... I think the only person I've not spoken to is the teacher. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. Take on I know a God everybody bless. loves being asked to sign a petition. But would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Yes, sure. Sure, Lay it I on always me. have time for you. <clears throat> What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. May I suggest the toilet? Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. It could have helped Rachel. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. Pragmatic. You're fair minded, Max. Yes, I am. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless our soul. But this petition isn't about her. <sighs> Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. CM, I've just read your message. Oh my God. The Native Americans? The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Oh, God. Um... Okay, so she's standing right in front of me, so it feels awkward to not sign it. But then I, I'm not worried about what, what I would get caught doing on camera. But I do know that it would have probably been better to have cameras. So I think I'm just going to have to have a really awkward confrontation with her. Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. Ugh, okay. We're going to stick with... Like, moments like that, I'm not going to rewind. I'm just going to stick with whatever I've gotten. But, like, mucking up the... Guessing the correct photographer for the... For the port... The, to see the portfolio. Like, I have no problem rewinding that. That's kind of where my guard rails are, I suppose. Go to the dormitories, yes. Yeah, you don't want to switch to e cigs either, exactly. This ain't 2018, people haven't removed from e cigs to CBD yet. <laughs> but, well, you'd still need to... It well, I guess it depends how you're... Come on, Logan. What format you're taking it in. Yeah. But it's not cameras in the toilets to be creepy. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. I guess maybe it's a bad idea. So just to pull, to those who haven't played this, who have played this game before, how is Java doing so far? Great, good, maybe a bit on the bad side, bad. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't played this game. Okay. Is, uh, is there a mod available to get a poll going? Okay. If not, I can do it myself. Oh, hi, Max. How are you? How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Okay. Uh, let's go talk over here. We did add a new mod. I can do it, I can do it, it's okay. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. I didn't even ask to take a photo. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Okay. How um how is Java yeah. doing so far? What are my options again? One is good. I'm just gonna do one. Nice, no, one is great. Ugh. So hang on. Great. Good. Maybe a bit on the bad side. Yeah. Maybe a bit on the bad. You'll know what I mean. And then lastly, sorry guys, give me just two seconds. Awesome. Um. Ow. Ow. 
You big wussy. Uh, noise. No, you're fine, you're fine. Four is bad, five is IDK. I haven't played the game. Okay. Bad and IDK. Bad. IDK not played. Okay, you got two minutes. You can vote in the poll. Thanks, guys, for being patient. Okay. And you got to watch these jocks throw a football around. Oh, look. Here's the Native American, yeah, totem. Let's take a look. Oh, maybe I can just look at it from here. Warren told me that totem is named Tabanga for a reason nobody knows. Tabanga. And Warren is who Wait. we're guessing the flash drive to. Zachary. No. Football, Max. Big football. Step away. All right. At least you seem concerned. <gasps> Kate! Well, let's look in the bin, I guess. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. Poor Kate. Sweet. You look down. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Sorry to be a drama queen. No, Is your feelings are valid. Nice. Max, I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. I'm sorry. We can respect the boundary. Anissa, you totally should. You absolutely should. Tabanga, Tabanga these nuts. I'm not gonna bang your nuts, mm, don't be Samuel. depraved. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. That's pretty creepy. You look busy. You look busy, Samuel. Oh, I'm always Hot in Rachel's body. Today it's sweeping, then painting windows. Just don't paint over the posters for Rachel Amber. You can't color over that sunlight. Nice, bro. Oh my god, everyone loves her. Relax. How can you know a prism? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. Uh, I don't like how he's talking about her. That feels weird. Sir, you work at this school. That is like a fully 18 year old that you're talking about, 17 year old. Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward like a clock. And he's speaking about himself in the third person. I don't like this. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even Sweet. sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery, positive and negative. He's speaking later, about Samuel. her in bloody and poetry. Watch your step here, Max. Nice. After I sweep, I paint. After I sweep, I paint. It sounds like a. Euphemism isn't the right word. What do you call it? When you're saying one thing, but it means something else. Poo. What a bunch of silly young people, huh? Oh, look. Double it's entendre. Nice Thank you, Chris. The but like, not quite. No. It's what like when you say something gimmick. in place of something Even else. Mark, Mr. Jefferson falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Trample oh, through. Hold that pose. Nice, bro. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Samuel, oh, yes, turn the sprinklers up higher. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Um, okay. Mm. Um, I don't want to find, I don't want to back down. Keep walking, hippie. No. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Uh, I'll use the ladder. Excuse me. <laughs> there goes Samuel Da Vinci to paint the window. Okay, can't use that window. Do I climb up? <laughs> hey, SLB welcome in. Is it true colors? No, this is the first one. Life is strange. Uh oh. Wouldn't it be awful if something happened to Samuel? Do you understand English? 
Get lost. Okay. Maybe if I just keep on going. No, yes, Lucy. Oh, sprinkler. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Oh, I'm gonna turn it up myself. Well, at least I had the idea independently to turn up the sprinkler. Uh, There's only one way around this. What's happened? Um, I beat him to the ladder? Think, Max. Rewind and find something. I'm gonna knock it over. What? The footballs? The bricks? The bucket? Tamper with it. Okay, let's see if this works. Ladder. Look at it. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. Hmm? I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Miami! My uh, Lucy is not a bot. <laughs> he wants to be a bot. I, I don't fully understand it. We just go with it. In fact, he has his own role in our Discord as our honorary bot. Shall I go talk to her so we can see the paint fly? Or maybe... Do you understand English? Yeah, sorry. I'll let get you lost. get paint splattered on you independently. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right Did under the what? bucket. What the hell? Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. I mean it with only love, Lucy. Close, but no cigar. What, guys, what is they happening? They have to be right under the bucket. They have to be right under the bucket. Um, they have to be. So I need to move the ladder. And snacks, have a great night's sleep. Oh, the water. Can I move the ladder? Do we reckon? No, I can't. The bucket's already been tampered with. Sprinkler, I need to find the valve. Can you slow down? Do you mind actually, t t okay. Would this be the valve? The valve is in here, maybe? No, a sprinkler valve wouldn't be in a room, surely. Oh, here, here, use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You can get cashmere like, wet. I can't even chill on the steps. To be fair, we could have just only tampered with the sprinklers. We don't need the bucket as well. It's a bit overkill. Awesome. And now let me make sure I'm not in the way. Sure. Bouquet. Bouquet? The bucket bouquet? Is the bucket no longer tampered? Samuel? Okay, well, pardon. Do you understand English? Get lost. I need to do it again. Rewind time. No. That's fine, that's fine. Tamper with the bucket. Now we can go sprint. Okay, let's see if this works. Don't mind me, Samuel, sprinting to where the valve would obviously be. I need to bring a pair of gloves with me. First I do the fire alarm what nonsense, now I do this. Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Awesome. No way! No fucking way! 
day, Victoria? Bad Insane. day to be Victoria. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no. Nope. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Okay, but we don't need to be rude to hold him. On, hold on, we'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. No. Don't mess with Max, bitches. But now, could, can I just shimmy past? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? It feels wrong to comfort her when it's something that I did, but I think it's a great moment to be the bigger person. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfit. Okay, we don't need to overkill. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Okay, Put I'm. I, I we said comfort, not blow smoke He's up for us. Let's chill. Yeah. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. <laughs> you deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. I didn't know she that blocked me, mean, but. Pretty funny. Did she say she blocked me on Facebook or whatever? Those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. And this will do you know, right, Victoria. Bye. Abiento, I'm the one that got paint all over your cashmere. It feels- Victoria probably played me. I did play her. I think what I just did was diabolical. No? Stigmata, hello, Victoria's just misunderstood. Hmm, yes. Good lord, she's not gonna fit her head yet in the doorway with that ego. I think we played that, like we played her in the end. I don't regret the choice, I think it was good. It was too easy to just make fun of her. HIV and AIDS aren't just initials on a poster. They're serious life-threatening diseases and nobody's immune to exposure. True. On September 16th, my backpack with all my school books and my new tablet was taken from the cafeteria after I left it on the table. There are invaluable images of my late cats. So I would appreciate the quick return of my possessions and feline mementos. You have my address. Address is misspelled. There are two D's in address. To the bitch that stole my... My... Fransu New Face Cream. That was expensive shit and I need it for my acne. I know exactly how it exfoliates and it, I'll be watching your skin the second it clears up. Go oh Miss my Grant. God. Not sure if I will though. Don't let Big I'm Brother watch you. An intrusive surveillance system could be installed by the end of the school year. Remembers of the faculty and student to hold a public forum. Please come to speak. Okay. I'm gonna look out for that Victoria bitch. We took so long. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Yeah. Welcome to Black Hill. Max Caulfield, so I'm 219, all right. And Kate's 222. Lady of the yeah, ring ring, lady of the house speaking. It's this Mrs. Boss Bucket. Oh, it's a pronounced bouquet. Wait, what is that from? Who lives in 217? That's the second I made the Shining Welcome reference earlier. Hill. Stella Hill. How weird is that? Didn't I say that the, the photograph looked like Jack Torrance and now we've got Red Room written here? Feels I'd love weird. To make a photo collage of every person who's posted these. Don't be afraid, be ready. Young guns training. Ooh, I don't know if that's what you wanna <laughs> write on the poster. Even under 21, you can still learn how to operate. Oh shit, this is about actual guns. I thought it was guns like this. I thought it was gonna be like some workout something. Uh, you can learn how to operate firearms from AK to Zrozdokva. Young guns uses fire, fun, safe. <laughs> Young guns uses fun, safe, perfect plastic replicas. Stop by our burner, our bunker for a test demo. Young guys and gals from Blackwell get a 20% discount. Yeah, people here are merciless. Safe, not sorry. No matter how much you like each other, one slip up can change your life. You have a choice. There's nothing wrong with waiting. See Kate's video for proof. 
What the f did Kate do? Can you hear me? Yes, we all can. Please respect your floor and neighbors. Be quiet in the halls after 10 p.m. Thank you for listening. Jarvis definitely British for thinking guns as arms. Yeah, I suppose. Stop them big foots. Yep, Rachel's still missing. Totally 80s film night. Woman's toilet with some... Oh, no men. Let's not pull another fire alarm. Don't be a zombie. Social media is time and place. Don't let your flat life flash for your eyes. Wait, is this college? I d you guys tell will bang for Jesus. This is her room as well. Good grief, leave her alone. Okay, this is just mean and stupid. Oh, let's draw something nicer. Um, I thought this was a high school. And I thought she was 15, but she's 18. Um, nice. She's 18. This might be a this university, like a but it's very DNA small. Uh, don't know your depression, keep you down. Everybody gets sad and lonely. And if you need somebody to talk to, please call us anytime, day or night. Thank you, Lucy, for the hydrate. It's been almost a month of stats and I still don't understand. Is this math or philosophy with graphs? Help, we'll pay you if you get me an A. I think it's a high school. I think it's still a high school. Something Blackwell Academy feels like a high school name and her talking about acne. I mean, I still get acne, but it feels like something that teenagers would talk about. You know what I mean? Lost phone, diamond phone case, last seen Vortex Club party. Please return it to lost and found. And it's quite small, which also makes me think it's a high school. Be the change you wish to see. That's a great, great. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. Oh, never mind. It's a great thing to write, assuming you're not Victoria. But what's this poster really trying to tell me? The BAPS. This is your planet, and when it comes to protecting the environment, you're the boss. It's up to you to make choice, so come raise your voice. Why is this like the world's horniest high school? Or maybe I was just an absolute loser. Warren should be all over Brooke. They're perfect for each other. Okay. Warren is hard friend zoned. Warren is the guy that I have kept waiting for a very long time. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. That's not true, Max. Max. Oh, with a little sad face. Obvious, but true. Oh, come on. That seems sad. Is it undergrad? I think it's a private high school. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Oh, well done, Red. High school is just horny jail, Jarvi. You must have been oblivious. I guess. Well, it wasn't my high school experience. I was too busy stressing out about trying to go to university. In Florida, Chris. So neither. Yes, but he can wait, Red. I don't even like Warren, apparently. I've hard friend zoned the poor guy. They did, Red, shockingly. I was at the first high school. Oh, she'll just play till I stop her, sorry. <laughs> this is it, this is the rest of the stream. To be honest, it was beautiful. Okay, mom is typing. Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honors student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge. And that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about it. That bastard. 
We should have known. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. Okay. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Hey, Young, how's it Instant going? This film is so damn hard to find and expensive. I know, nothing face and elegant yeah, death. It was it. such I'm good analog, chill. Not digital. It was such good chill music. I was just I'll vibing miss going out. I the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. Go Thunderbirds. Anyways, here's Wonderwall. If I'm not, not the anyways. Finder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. Okay. Little strange. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. Okay. For anyone that doesn't know, that was a Last of Us 2 reference, I think. No, that was just a me reference in Last of Us 2. <laughs> hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. D. Who's D? Great. Now I have to go get the Dana. flash drive from Dana's room. Okay, so we need to go get, we need to go to Dana's room. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. This is Facebook. Quick sketch of my new muse. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Camera porn. Lauren makes me laugh. It's oh, nice you like to feel like I already made a real friend here. Max, thanks for your email and copy of Jefferson's class notes. Now I shall never stop sending you messages of gratitude. I also have a rather eclectic collection of TV, cult, classic, and fucked up films on a fat flash drive if you ever want to check them out. Thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist more than an artist. Now you can quickly explain to me how a camera works. Bless him. Okay. Lost an oasis. Philip Lorca to I love Oasis. My man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Oh, Paul Dolly, Warren. What a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Warren's been waiting for us for an eternity. Also, that guy, Dawsono. Do do is um we we have the book about him that's the only tourist picture i let them take of me at the space that was a good hockey game and man kristen and fernando were so drunk hanging on the fremont troll okay cartier bresson do i know hamilton the greatest Just whilst we explore the rest of it. <sighs> Light, hey. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day uh, Mom and I sewed that together. I can't lay it lie down. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. Oh. When I followed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. So cute. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. A teddy bear's named Captain. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest of care for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Cannibal Holocaust is a real film and it's awful. It is so graphic. Do not watch it, guys. I'm surprised that in this universe they list. Oh, power strip? Turn it on? Oh, okay. I'm surprised that they list like actual film. You know what I mean? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. I just leave the music playing. I wonder if that's a mistake. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Can I enter? Let me just turn off the music. We'll be responsible. Oh wait, it says keep calm and carry on, I think. Keep calm and carry on, cute. Little Anglophile, huh? 
Oh my god, not Paragon with a gifted sub to Cannibal Holocaust. Stop. You hardly checked your journal. What do you mean? Oh, here we go. Rachel Amber forever. Oh, it said Rachel Amber forever on the bench. Drawings, photos. Oh, should I have taken photos of all these things by now? Oh, these are different. Oh, oh sorry. Okay. Huh. That's quite the username. I'm honestly shocked it exists. So someone's made a muck in the bathroom. Be alert on campus. Observe the following safety. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know. Yup, yup, yup. Geek Girls Book Club. Looking for like-minded souls to discuss authors such as Ursula Le Guin. Ba 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 ba. No boy wizards or sad vampire fiction allowed. No boys. Period. Read. No Harry Potter. No Twilight series. <laughs> Got it. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. CM, beat stabbing monsters. Are you talking about Elden Ring? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Patson, Juliet Watson, Juliet Olson, Juliet Mason. I'm going to say Juliet Mason. Uh, Juliet Mason. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Okay, well, good thing I can just rewind. Hey, Juliet. Is everything... Oh, yes, Max. Uh, Juliet Watson, Juliet be Watson, nice. You be nice. Awkward. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. I would not uh, be flattered if someone did that to Thanks. me. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Would Dana do that? Apparently she did. How do you know? How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. Mm. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Damn. I swear I didn't do anything. But I um. Damn. Okay, so off to Victoria's room we go. Yeah, I'm in a mellow mood. Love this game. Elden isn't great, but chilled out. You mean this game's chilled out? Yeah, it's a good. Welcome to Black Hill. So Victoria's in two two one. Um, I like yeah that their games are two different vibes. You know, they serve two different purposes. If that makes sense. I said 221, right? That's 224. Okay. 221. 221. Oh, yeah. Be the change you want to see in the world. Yes. Life in Strange is better than Elden Ring for me, but I'm also obsessed with this series. I think it's just amazing how many people are so passionate about it. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Okay. Dion Javanchi. Those boots are made for walking runways. They're not even boots. You bellend. That is bell a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says. That's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. She says Final Fantasy. I think of the game. 
I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Why? One of Blackwell Academy's most durable and influential social groups, the Vortex Club, started in the neon 1980s as a new wave rebellion against the yuppie forces of the Reagan era. Imagine a time when computer knives were dumped into garbage cans and blue hair was the cause of expulsion and even violence. That's like the second time they've spoken about blue hair and obviously the girl at the beginning has blue hair. Male students who wore earrings were bullied and beaten. Now every football player has two or three exotic piercings. So the Vortex Club was originally a haven from the peer pressure that every generation experiences. How ironic that the revolutionary roots of social misfits has become what students claim is an elitist cult. Or is this just envy at one of Blackwell's most successful organizations? We tried to interview Vortex Club member Victoria Chase, but she refused to comment and even tried to stop the story from publication. Rot row, Raggy. Um, missing person poster. Why does she have this in Victoria here? Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. It's true. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Juliet. Can you get a fucking like clue right now? This person is missing. Why is this? Do you really need to real Jefferson Brophy steal the portrait and and the sorry, the poster and write bitch on it? International photographer Mark Jefferson. Wow. Oh, so this is upcoming. Maybe there's something that we'll get to experience in the game. Yes, Victoria. Job of 30 minutes ago. I'm only going to rewind if it's truly laptop. necessary. <laughs> no, it's not that I wasn't paying attention. They didn't Victoria say her props name. I'm not posting my photo and for this nice shot. Okay. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. But this isn't proof. So sad to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. Oh, all I had to do was mention to Juliet I saw nasty sex from Dana on. Hang on. Taylor Christensen. Bitch down. What? So sorry to inform you that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumb as believed me. And so I expect there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. Oh my god. I print it, sorry. That is nasty. Who the hell are you to invade others' privacy? I know. I was just thinking, I'm like, I'm gonna go show the proof, but then I'm gonna get okay, in trouble. If I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Sticker, look. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. I'm like, I'm using her tablet again. It feels very strange. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe Which I will join her posse. Cheaper than the camera? Also, what the hell? This is 2015. What the hell are you doing with a 3D printer? They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kind of like, like Victoria. Nothing like seeing a fucking disaster oh, right behind. I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. She's Don't steal the camera. A classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Ouch. Dear Miss well, Chase. She puts her photographs out there. Oh shit. Unlike me. Actually, no. Totally give credit where it's due. Good on her for at least, yeah, like you said, guessing her, her um, photos out there. Let's take the printout. This of the better email. convinced Juliet that Dana is innocent. I mean, why wouldn't it? It completely, it overtly says what she did. Yeah, photo gear is expansive. So bless you for wanting to do that. How do I become the pennies, nickels, and dimes? Stop. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. These people all going into each other's rooms and taking each other's belongings when... 
I don't Almost even think done. you like me. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. I don't think that we're friends. I don't think you like me. So I don't know why you just go into my... Is that a taser? I don't know why you just go into my room and take this stuff. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. I can't tell what's on her her coffee table, unfortunately. Um. Oh. This is both sad and pathetic oh no dana i suck at writing but i thought i should write this so you might not hate my dumb ass forever i know i act like a tough jock around everybody but i never had to act around you i'm not the kind of man you deserve you saw how i pushed out if you need any more if you need any money let me know logan but her boyfriend's name is zach so who the hell is logan of course, a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. Chill out. So fascinating to get She's a got a thousand. In social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Yeah. She's only got a thousand friends. Let's dial it all the way back. Must protect my oh, Zach is Juliet's so boyfriend. Never has to chase it down again. Okay. We love a Lord of the Rings reference. Okay, Zach is Juliet's boyfriend. Logan is <laughs> Logan Paul. Not Logan Paul. Oh no, have I taken too long? I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. Okay, now you said I'm not looking at my journal much. So far, we've just, yeah, lots of photos of the school. Yep. And it looks like we've met almost all the key players. We're missing five. I've met up with Warren in the parking lot. Oh, wow. This goes all the way back to July. Oh my gosh. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, it, this would be a rave. Even though, I'm not going to read the whole thing. We're going to read a day. Um, I didn't think it would be so excited since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought it was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. And when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. That's so weird, but they're happy. And this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes. And if I can work it, a new laptop. Oh, and I have to keep telling myself in caps that I am going to Blackwell Academy. Light, see you. Taylor is a slave. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Okay. Truly pathetic. Yes. Why the hell are we talking about feta urges? I was like, what is going on? All right, let's. Ow, that hurt. Damn. Who, who threw that? Mind. Oh. What? Fuck this shit. No. Ow. Um, hey. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. You saved a woman from being killed. Why would you say you haven't helped anyone Max, yet? That was awesome. Thank you. Uh, that was close. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Java, did you get Mean Girl in high school and was Boots your enforcer? I know I didn't. I really didn't. Um, 
I was like a, what do you call that? Like a floater in high school. I could kind of go between the friend, like the different social circles a lot. And I was, I don't know if any, if, if my twin sister or I were the other's enforcer, we really didn't need it. By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Got it. Okay. Lucy, have a great night's sleep. We got a floater here. Yeah. Is that, hang on, parking lot? Yeah, main building. I think it's this way. Hang on. Oh, gosh. Is there anyone else I should talk to? Let's talk to this guy. What's your problem, you bozo? Oh, this is Zach. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Get lost, hipster. Okay. I'm not doing any interviews. Well, at least I'm starting to put the pieces together. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really, although the one thing that did happen, I was, it was so when I was much younger. I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you Hang understand on. what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo? I feel like I should have intervened. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Why is a grown man bullying her? Okay. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. So the one thing that did happen when I was younger... I should have stepped in between Kate and David. Yeah, probably. The asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. No, we're going to stick with the choices. We have to, I'm, I'm, that's like a big decision that I made. And so I'm not save scumming. I'm not rewinding. I'm going to stick with it unless it's just, no, I have to, I have to. The photo will come in handy, I think. Anyway, when I was like eight years old, I think, maybe eight or nine, um, my school in London, we were required to wear skirts. Anyway, this girl ran up behind me and pulled my skirt down. So I was just standing there in my underwear and that was pretty embarrassing. But we were at an all girls school. So I was just standing in my underwear in front of other girls. So I just pulled my skirt back up. <laughs> Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. I don't even know why I'm going to add it. The reason why I remember it distinctly is because I was wearing like... <laughs> I was wearing underwear that had like a Disney pattern on it. Like a Disney animation pattern on it. <laughs> I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Which I guess that was probably the only embarrassing part because I think maybe I felt like I was too old to be wearing Disney printed underwear, but... <laughs> Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Matt. Yes, young list. Sorry. The I'm Disney undies. Still screwed up. <laughs> Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. I haven't thought about Have that in ages. Have you talked to yet? Mr. Badass Football oh. Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. Very funny. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Poor Juliet. Ah, uh, what does this say? I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. I don't even want to say what it says. I'm just trying to figure out the second word. Jesus. Do I admit it? You still wear Disney prints. I, I admit it. I just can't give it up, guys. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. But she has a lot of people that care about her, actually. Cause equal death. All right. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. Do you know, and I don't even, I didn't eat shit and smoke. 
Hippies? Okay. Um, I didn't plot any revenge on on the girl at all. Who toilet papers a bike? I, I was above it all, guys. I was bigger than that, all right? Yeah, did you move up to Sailor Moon? Yeah, yeah I, I rock Sailor Moon now. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. I mean, to be fair, there's a girl missing. Come on. More Damn, missing posters. Seriously devoted to putting up these posters. I don't know. It could be her family, the loved ones that she has. Oh, it's a dog. It's a dog. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. That's the second Stephen King reference that we've had, I think. Or potentially the third since I have telekinesis. This is feeling Stephen King-esque. I don't know how intentional that is or not. Zizi pajamas are popular amongst young ladies. I would imagine pants too. It was a different time, man, you know? And there's Warren. Did he actually buy- What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. I don't know, Giffy. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. Ah, uh, you can draw? You we can know draw? you posted it online. I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Mm. Music is math, et cetera, et cetera. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. Yes, how that cute. I'll let you know. No, so, let him know did you get a chance now. to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Um, I've been busy. No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Oh, shit. For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No, sir. No fucking way. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. <laughs> I laughed my ass off. Why? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. I don't know what this top no, one means. I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. No. But you seem distracted. I need to talk. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Not the bloody Dr. cannibal Warren holocaust. Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. God, this kid loves us. Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's Look class Look at how today. he's looking at me. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? Cool. I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Answer me, bitch. Ah, I told him the truth, punk ass bitch. I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. You do and have a gun. Give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max. So he does see someone then. Um. 
Take a step back. Like chill. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Oh. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Take in the bathroom. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! <gasps> Get in, Max! Get no! Get out of there now! Don't even try to run! Don't I'm not- am I seriously not gonna save Nobody. Warren? Oh, the security guards there. That escalated so quickly. And they know each other. This is the origin of Spider-Man's Green Goblin. It all started when he got tasseled on. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hang on. Isn't she the girl that was in the bathroom? But she looks significantly older than I am. I thought she's not my sister. Is this the friend that I had in the photo? Hopefully nothing after today. So how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. I can't believe you left You're not the him. only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely. Oh, the journal. Out okay. of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please Definitely, girl. Emmanuel. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. Not only for Mark Jefferson, surely. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? My no. best friend. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to? I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. Then why did you I come to the school? I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Okay, I think this is the girl, her, her name's Chloe. I think she was in the photograph with me that I showed where we were good friends. I moved away to Seattle. I moved back because I've got the scholarship to the school that I'm at. But this thing, she looks way older than I am. Broken. Oh, man, are you serious? Wow, haven't Are you that serial? One yeah. Who says that? Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Why was she at the school to pick me up? Why was I okay leaving Warren behind? Questions, questions. Definitely owe a call to the cops. Also, speaking of questions, am I, will it be obvious when it's the end of an ep uh, a chapter or whatever? End of an episode? Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Yes, I will know. Okay. Jugs. Tenderloin. 
I feel like that's also like a really NSFW film. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step Fuhrer makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Hey, I'm glad you enjoy it, RH fan. Thank you. I only played the third game in the series, but the episode changes were obvious. Okay. Another 40 ish minutes of episode of the episode. Okay, cool. I mean, obviously, I'm taking my time with it. I just want to make sure that there's a clear, like, that I don't just blow past the stopping point. You know what I mean? Okay, so the Oregon this coast. This is from Rachel Amber. It's from Rachel Amber. Miss, you wish you were here. So Rachel is also friends with Chloe? This Rachel person is this looks like a laundry bag. The most popular girl and it around. Looks like dirty laundry. Gross. Vots, hey, how's it going? How are you? <gasps> Dude, you brought my glass snow dough. Thanks. Okay. That sucks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student when she cared. It's 80 plus abs, really? Close, unacceptable. Oh, absences, maybe? Yes, absences. But she stayed in phys ed a lot? But she failed phys ed. Okay. Oh, I can rewind it. All right. I guess I will. I shouldn't break her snow globe. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. But I shouldn't do that. That's the only time I'm doing that. Next time I have oh, to stick with it. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. And if we get a weird totally ending, then totally we get a weird ending. Style. I barely recognized her. Basic, hey, how's it going? How are you? Did I completely miss you coming in? Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. I'm sorry, jugs and tenderloin. <laughs> I saw people reacting to what you wrote, but I didn't see what you wrote. I'm sorry. Yes, hello. How's it going, Basic? How was the rest of stream? How are you liking audio? Give Basic a follow, everyone, please. I'm flying solo. Oh, no, Rollo's here. Can you give her a shout out, please? All right, Chloe is just in a bad way. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Okay. It won't play without any power. Can we turn the power strip on? Is there a power strip? Yes. Cute. Yes, roll a new mod. I'm not into them. Too pretentious. So what now? I don't even know who's that is, but I assume it's a real music, music group. You came in on jugs and tenderloin, but look, massive jugs and then tenderloin, tenderloin. She looks super happy. She does look super happy. Give basic a follow. I've made it so incredibly easy. She looks super sad. You have no reason not to, please. She looks super stoned. <laughs> what an odd... Not you taking photos of you doing something illegal and putting it on your laptop. Chloe, babe, come on. It's 2013. I think this swallowed her discs. Basic, I will do whatever I bloody well please. And then watch me miss out on something so critically important. Hang on, what's this? I think this junk swallowed her discs. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Okay. Thank you for the follows. Welcome in, Hamentators. Yo. I did not say Abby needs a five minute mute. That's a lie. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. So Chloe obviously got way off track. I think me leaving her. I reckon she might have feelings for me. Not shoes on the bed, come on. My gut says she has some sort of feelings for me. I left, she didn't hear anything from me. It's devastating. 
like that devastated her and now so tell me she's in disrepair what does max caulfield do for fun now that she's a grown-up um i don't feel grown up i don't feel grown up just more confused as i get older oh 2013 especially after Jeez. today gee thanks i was hoping to hear something positive about me no about me duh i thought you'd at least be happy taking photos forget it I don't understand. Uh... So tell me, what does Max Caulfield do for fun now that Was there a more up? positive option? Oh, I take photos. I take photos of me, the world, everything. It may sound sad, but I have a blast. It doesn't sound that sad. I'm happiest when I've got a great image in my lens. I'm not lonely, not afraid. Mm. Now that's more inspiring. I don't feel so totally hopeless. Okay. Is it weird that I, with her smoking, I feel like I can smell weed smoke. Hey, did you find the disc yet? Oh, you, the disc, sorry. It's probably in your laptop. She looks super happy. She, she looks super stoned. Uh, search? No, 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 she no. She looks super happy. It's like the most finicky can search here. I think this junk swallowed her discs. What, 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 what do you want? Move the junk away. Am I being such, oh, in the bin? No, there's the parking tickets. Oh, search in the box. Why am I looking in her room? Frankly. Rachel. Ah, it's the photo they used for the, all the posters. Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. Maybe she had feelings for Rachel, like everyone else, apparently. That's Rachel Amber. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. Oh, so that's why she was at school. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. Mm. So Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. Hmm. So what happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened Damn. to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? My money is on the photography teacher. I think he's helped her to her demise. That's what I think has happened. The photography teacher killed Chloe. I'm calling it now. Um... What the hell was I going to say? I do not smoke weed. I am very familiar with how it smells because I do live in New York and I live in an apartment building. And then Father Skies, frankly, I fancy Rachel at this point as well. You're talking to Chloe. What do you mean, Abby? What do you mean, Abby? She told me to put the music on. Anyway... 
You can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. Oh, sorry. I, I meant the photography teacher killed killed Rachel. I'm sorry. Julia, Max, Rachel, Taylor, Dana, Chloe, Amber. It's all, they're all the same name. They're all just different variations of the same name. It's easy to get them all mixed up, innit? Whoa, dark. I can't Can I turn a light? Yes. Anything. Sorry, because it's kind of creepy. There's too many like generic names in this game, come. exactly. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. It's the same in um, the quarry. They all have the same name. Max, I John. Oh, he's taking those pills. Okay, fluoxetine. Okay. Please dispense with medication guide. I don't know what fluoxetine does. Maybe you're meant to know. I don't think it's an antidepressant. This is definitely Joyce's makeup. Chloe wouldn't use animal products. Oh, it's so a generic for Prozac. Okay. Well, there you go. Let's turn the light off. Energy efficient here, and she won't know that I was I was snooping around. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolf. But here I am. Well, they could try, Chris, all right? They could try and get a little creative. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Duplicates of the same book, I see, okay. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Can we check on the bird? Oh, shit. Poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. Oh, yes, we could. Okay, open it quickly. So that the bird flies in. Fuck that bird in particular. Um, okay, can we, can you get out though? You've been resurrected, birdie. Fly, be free. Can I knock over this? Can I open this to scare it maybe? Let's close the window so it's trapped in here. <laughs> will it let me close it? Yes, it will. No, let's not do that. Uh, thanks, at least you didn't say that was a choice I'll stick by. Animal death is where I draw the line, act, frankly. Act or die, a 21st century survival guide. And to be fair, that's one that you're like Dog meant. Tags. sweet. That's David one that you're Max. meant to like rewind. I had no choice. It wasn't like I had an A or B choice. It like flew into the glass and then it gave me the option to save it. So of course I'm gonna oh save it. Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. It's different. I see why she would keep it. Okay. Joyce still works at the diner, and Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> uh -oh. oh shit! We've got a photo of Chloe's dad threatening our friend. Let's look at the papers. Shout out to the fallen animals uh -oh. from past games. The prices are late on their bills. Damn, Chloe's family's in a bad way. But even she hates her dad. Joyce her stepdad. looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. No, he's definitely a douchebag. We've met him already. I love how this game does the time rewinding because it would absolutely be used irresponsibly by people who had that power. True. I like that they... Oh, no, we've already checked in there. Joy still works at the diner. And no, Chloe's new dad is a security guard. Can I not fast this? Guard. No, I can't. <laughs> Uh-oh. You'll trigger the bluebird effect. Not the bluebird effect. All right, I think this is... Oh, no, we can't even see that. Let's look at this. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Please don't have anything rude in the drawer. Aww. Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. Oh, she's pregnant. Oh my God. So I saw that it said with William and Chloe and I was like, is that Chloe kiss? I 
uh, William looked like a potentially a girl to me. I didn't realize she was referencing that she was pregnant. It was very confusing, guys. Have you seen the Butterfly Effect, Java? No. Isn't that a film from like 2007? It's got Ashton Kutcher in it. Or like 2005 even or something. It's like super old. Okay. Let's go down to the garage. The bird will be the final boss now you save it. Don't say that. But I do hate that it's just chilling in the room. I'm like, oh, that can't be good. Get out the room. Live in a prison or die in freedom. Exactly. It's a penultimate question. It does seem it. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. I don't think she's really smiling or laughing in that. Oh, hang on, there are more photos. Photos. I don't think now she's smiling or laughing I in this. Remember. Always smiling and laughing. Not so much anymore. <laughs> she's not smiling or laughing in any of these photos. You can't see her face. You can't see her face. You can't see her face. Okay. That was really not cool, Max. You could have helped me out. Sorry, Kate, I chickened out. I didn't chicken out. I was collecting evidence so that we can go to the proper authorities. They just don't understand how I think. Um, Rachel, Chloe, great. We're missing only two new people, two more people. So we're gonna read one more day here. So this is August 18th, so this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too. It's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I choose to go to the smallest back in a town I was excited about leaving. Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I are still even friends, but I do wish Chloe could have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When, she, when we would play pirates in our rooms... There was something that mentioned pirates. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking with coffee shops. <laughs> but Seattle wasn't like a fable, au contraire. Now Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world to study photography under Mark Jefferson. Sigh. Inset heart eyes and flowers. Plus there will be a cool diverse students. Sorry. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found my groove with my classmates or oh, boys. I'm lucky I have a couple great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island of treasure and adventure I've been looking for. There was definitely something earlier on with pirates. I think it might have been... I haven't seen this place in five years. Seems like forever. I think it might have been the dream sequence thing. Joy still works at Two Wells Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. Okay. Now I'm starved. <sighs> Travel money. I'd love to go to Paris too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. God, don't damn, be so that grim. Was tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Tombstone pizza, yeah. Although we want burgers, they're talking about burgers. Okay, door, sliding door outside. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. That's the spirit. Damn, it's the couch. We used to pretend it was a pirate ship. Mm-hmm, Looks mm -hmm. like a ship wreck now. Oh, this is the garage. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Okay, well, let's go look for the tools. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. Yep. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Well, now I wish I had known Chloe's that he was the one. Is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. If I'd known that he's the one that wants to put cameras everywhere, then maybe I would have signed the petition. Oh, dear. Yes, score. Okay. Thank you for the follows, guys. By the way, welcome in. How is your day or night going? If you feel like talking. Oh. Uh. Okay. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder Placement why. of cameras. All right. 
Should I switch the song? Decisions, decisions. Well, we've already opened it, so you might as well. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? No, obviously. And then someone slams the cupboard door right behind my head. Okay, well, can we close this? Close it. They, okay, so the consequences will be, they won't know that I've done that, surely. Yeah, the, the cameras really in the house are installed. Tiny tools for that camera. So he wants to install cameras in the school, which we did not sign the petition to stop, unfortunately. Um, uh, but he's already installed cameras at no home. Password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Okay, it's the only computer here that's password protected. The tools might be in this cupboard. Nope, looks like stale, disgusting food. Shit! Okay. No, I take it back. I should stick with the consequences of doing that. No, no, because I, they, they'll know, he'll know that. Okay, the cupboard, I can, I can undo. But the getting the files wet, there's no way to hide that. So that's just silly. We, we just won't pick up the files. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. Um, turn it on so that they shake down. No taking back. Oh, okay. I'll go. I'll go do it again. I'll go do it again. I'll make. I'll live with the no the mistake reach. that I've made. Ghana! Yo! Tier 2, 32 months! Only took 31 months for me to see you play Life is Strange. Let's hey. See. The tools are stuck, out of reach, and no way in hell to get them. At least I did it, yeah, alright? That's brilliant. The whole point is you can take it back. Yeah, but like, there are certain decisions where I go, I should take back, maybe I shouldn't take back. And I can't decide if the file one was a good one to take back or not, you know? Because I kind of want to like... I should have done that before they fell. Oh, well, all right. Um, is it still up there? Also, frankly, I'm terrible at doing this whole rewind business. It also feels so dramatic. Do I really need to rewind time to be able to reach what's underneath there? Okay, turn that off. Is there a limit to your rewinds? Yes, there's a limit to how far back you can, well, there's a limit to how yes. far back I can go, you but there's not a limit to how often that. you can use it, I don't think. I've got the tools. I should go back upstairs before Chloe freaks. Why would Chloe freak? No, we're, not, we're gonna leave the files. I already made the mistake of looking at the TV. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you. They have to display your head. In a way, we can see your English at heart. So afraid of making a social mistake, even in a game. True. Check out the muscle car. <laughs> Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Super true. Um, okay, let's go back. Let's go see uh, Chloe, 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 Chloe. Too much rewind will take you past your own birth. Yeah, exactly. Trap you in some kind of um, paradox. Yeah, gone. I'm so happy to see you here. How have you been? I'm starting to love the no rewind tactic. I know that's kind of what I think I should do just so it's a bit different. But I think, I don't know, there are certain ones where you make the decision and you couldn't know what the outcome is gonna be. You know what I mean? 
Like, how would I know that the files would fall down into the water or that the snow globe would drop? I don't know. I have to think about it. Lament, yo! Tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. I don't want to get such a horrific ending that I don't even get to experience the game, but I think a little bit of chaos is good. We'll see. We'll see. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. She I has a whole ass them. sleeve already. Are you shitting me? That asshole's everywhere. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today, you set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, yes, let's be honest. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, Aww. did you recognize me? Not at all, I wasn't sure. Not at all, I feel like it's kind of mean to say. I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Yeah, Just I definitely did. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. True. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? Did I tell anybody about the drugs? No. Did I tell someone about the gun? Yes. Uh... Like who? Because it's not saying no. Like who? Like anybody. Stop stalling, sister. The principal. But he didn't seem to believe me. Truth. We told the, the truth. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. I didn't mention you at all. I didn't even know it was you, Thank clearly. God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Poor Chloe, her shirt's all dingy as hell. Jesus. I uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Aww. That's so cool you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. JV, take yo. That ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> Not the shoes on the bed. <laughs> Saying I have a bony white ass, you don't know. I'm caked up. This day couldn't get any stranger. Oh dear, JB's already redeemed time himself out. Gonna. You know what Can't to do. To Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. <laughs> also, I don't know why you're concerned about the music when he can obviously anyway, smell you smoking. Now, my stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. What's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. Um, the Chloe. closet. Obviously, it was our original secret hiding spot, Chloe, I think. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My, my bra is stuck. 
Oh, sorry, I shouldn't rewind. Okay. Chloe. I'm coming. Uh, in the bed. Oh no, just move the floor I'm lamp. Changing. Move Give it. Me a Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Okay. To be fair, I think I had to rewind that. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Chloe, soldier. I ain't door. screwing around, soldier. Shit. What's going on in here? <clears throat> Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat. We'll do that to you. Bruh, what is he? Sir, you live in the missing. suburbs. Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait, is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Stay hidden. This is their business, not mine. Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon. Hey, leave Joyce out of this. I wish you'd leave Joyce, like now. Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. By the way, I have proof you got all up in Kate Marsh's face today. Surveillance proof. What? You best stay out of my work. Then stay out of my life. See, now I don't Chloe, feel bad that I took the photo. Someday you'll grow up. But she shouldn't have told him that she has the photo. That was just silly. Bad times, guys. Bad times. Don't hey, bring attention okay? to it. Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. Damn. What if I had stepped up to help? Well, we needed to get a, a s we needed to understand what was happening, and now we know at least. You make me this way, bullshit. Don't say that. It's American Beauty all over again. Jesus, I've not seen that film, and I don't even know how long. Surely Jarvis has better moves than Max. Absolutely. I told you, caked up, man. The lighthouse, all right. No, I'm not rewinding to see the other versions. Gone, we would be here for double the amount of time. <laughs> this is one continuous story. Because then I would have to rewind, see the other version, and then re-rewind and go back to the version that I did. Madness. This is a draw-off all over again. Don't say that. I haven't been here in forever. So why do I feel like I was just here? You were just here. Whoa. This is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. Wait, but I'm by myself. But I'm by myself. What do you mean I'm not even hearing the dialogue? What do you mean? Oh, poor thing. I owe you. Thanks for today. I'll call back later, okay? I swear. NP, and you still have to tell me your big secret. Keck. I know that that's not Twitch Keck, but I don't know what kind of Keck that will be. Keck equals Keck? Equals Keck? What slang would that have been in 2013? Bertha's so lucky. Man, I should have helped Chloe. I feel so bad. Yes, this is definitely not real wherever we are right now. So let's go back and relook at the stump. Max oh and Chloe. Yeah, BFF this. pirates. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Oh, bless. And now we can look at the map properly this time. Wowzer. Chloe drew that to mark our tree fort, so we'd always be able to find each other in case of emergency. Hmm, <sighs> okay. Anything else at sea? Campfire? 
Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. You must see all 14,605,000 possible outcomes in this game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Guys, we're just going to be playing this game and Elden Ring full time, like, for the rest of eternity, okay? Clearly. The Bigfoots are everywhere. Everywhere. It's lol, basically, but they would have used it like that back in this the day. Can I open this? No. Thank you, Elegant Death. Thank you. That was very well said. See? Let's Weird. just enjoy. Those glyphs remind me. Enjoy? The wind. Enjoy. Why did I say enjoy? Tumblr girl talk. They did it before Twitch. Really? Keck is to laugh before Twitch. Okay, so we can go. Let's... I kind of thought talking to, like, clicking on the lighthouse might trigger the next thing. But obviously there's a person... Too bad it's locked. Oh, okay. I remember racing up and down the steps. What do you mean I don't even read the journal? What are you talking about? Is this not the journal? Okay, let's go to another page. August 25th, 2013. Shit is crazy here. I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack up all my crap. Mum and dad are getting a little too excited. I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught my mum crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all my clothes, then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Sorry. Um, not that I even have an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything unless I get busted. And there will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared, but excited. And then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arm, sensing the universe opening up for me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. My first entry from the new dorm room night before... Hang on. Sorry. Can we throw Detroit Become Human into the mix of games so we can get a high amount of torture? What? Keg is a translation of the acronym LOL. Oh, interesting. Oh, it is from WOW. That's so funny. Thank you. I think it was, yeah, Red said that. It's popular from WOW. Okay. <sighs> My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Whew. I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small, but mine, and I never want to leave. It's actually a pretty big room. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of, I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can see, I think I can already see who's going to be cool with me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. Hey, Guna. Yo, how's it going? How are you? September 3rd. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn. The day starts like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right away, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. See, she gets it. And how could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. It's just that it's a lot of reading. It's a lot of reading. <laughs> so that wasn't fun along with my general social needs. I thought it would be easier ba being back. Call the wambulance. I don't want this day to end at all. Woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. September 4th. And this isn't like Halloween time. Fuck. Ah. 
I have an ass load of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as a kind of know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographs and he actually named a few, sorry, we talked about photographers and he actually named a few I'd never hear, heard of. We traded numbers and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought at least I get to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, he just says what he thinks and expects, expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my God, I want to marry him. He's definitely a killer, for sure. Just joking, this one class is worth all the social dysfunction. Also, to be fair, I'm dyslexic and reading aloud is always so hard. So anytime, this is like my worst nightmare, having to read aloud actual obscenely large blocks of text. And to be fair, they shouldn't have started the game with 18 pages of these things to read, my God. So we're not gonna read them all right now. I'm trying to at least mix in some gameplay with some reading, but I do wanna kind of catch up with the readings so that we're not on page, oops, so that we're not on page like 10 out of 30 or something, you know? Anyway. September 15th, homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teachers grade harder just to stop you from feeling special. But Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like their honored guests of Blackwell. The bros here aren't all that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. His family is the oldest in Arcadia Bay and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescotts give a shitload of bank to Blackwell. So Nathan acts like he literally owns the school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I'd get suspended, but him and Victoria are part of this silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they think so sorry, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. It makes her more beautiful than the biatches here like Victoria who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing the drama games. No more. <laughs> it started with eight pages. Well, they didn't say early on that you should read the journal, okay? I had no idea. Dear diary, Chat made me read today. It was so hard. I stumbled over all the words. And then when I turned the camera off from stream, I threw my controller into the wall and said, God damn you game devs. <laughs> LOL. Till tomorrow. Okay. September 23rd. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around the campus today. A perfect blue sky day. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I've been slacking off. Speaking of pictures, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell and of course I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple of weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. Can you read this in your Cali girl accent? Yeah, yeah, sure. Ghana, I'm totally not dreading having to read this whole thing. Let me just add on top my horrific American accent. September 30th. I don't know whether to love it or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things, like I give a shit or even understand it. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him and take him to, to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics, so even boneheads like me can kind of understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life, unlike some of us in her class, but I'm unlike some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now, how much homework are you avoiding? October 1st, October, my favorite month. 
the weather of the year, <laughs> the best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but this is still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate Let Me Borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much of him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up my copy of Battle Royale. But he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures in one of my old albums. Albums? I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. Is that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party? Or is that Backstroke Fest? You're so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I shouldn't expect my life to completely change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. This does not exist. October 7th. This will be the weirdest journal entry I will ever make. So weird, I don't know how or where to start. But it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of a cliff. Okay, so this is where we're starting out. Then I saw a giant tornado headed for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face and I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. That was great, didn't cringe at all. I bet you're absolutely lying, Ghana. This isn't even your worst accent. How does it get worse? But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class and I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me, but I totally blew the answer. Of course, Victoria pounced on me and made me look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest while Victoria did her usual suck up to Jefferson. He's so cool and he clearly wants me to succeed. Damn, I had to come up my life to say I love Java American accent. Cracked soul, you absolute sweetheart. Thank you for lying to me and saying that and for coming out of luck. How's it going? Wow, that sure is strange, someone in this game. Yeah. I felt so shitty. I just wanted to go to the bathroom to be alone and wash my face after that nightmare. All day mare. I, once I got to the bathroom, I saw this odd, beautiful blue butterfly flutter in. And right when I took a photo of it in the corner, Nathan Prescott came in, freaking out, talking to himself. I hid in the corner and this punk girl came in and they started arguing about drugs and money. Then Nathan actually whipped out a gun and shot the girl. This is where it gets strange. When Nathan fired the gun, I came around the corner and reached out for some dumb reason as if I could stop the bullet. But suddenly I could feel the world twisting around me and, in this, and this pressure in my head. Everything seemed, to everything seemed to rewind and I found myself right back in class at my desk. I literally thought I had been doused with some drug until I came to calm myself down. I saw everything happen in class the way it did before. Major groundhog deja vu. That's not how you spell deja vu. It, whatever, it's, she's a teenager. Somehow I was able to actually rewind time. I knew the only way to find out if I was having a breakdown was to go back to the bathroom and see if I could save the girl from Nathan this time. I had no idea how either. I just knew I couldn't live with myself if I let her die again. I escaped Jefferson this time by knowing exactly how to answer his questions and rushed to the bathroom. I hid in the corner again and couldn't believe it when Nathan showed up, freaking out all over again. Then the girl came into the bathroom and before Nathan can shoot her, I smashed open the fire, the ancient fire alarm and scared both of them away. Victory! until I got grilled by security chief, David Madsen, who thinks he's Chuck Norris, Blackwell Ranger. Nathan Prescott almost kills a girl in the bathroom, but no, I'm the problem. I was so glad when Principal Wells stepped in to shoo David away. Well, you're not gonna be that glad. Sorry. Do you remember the clips I have of you that will get you canceled? The Cali girl accent is painful AF. <laughs> well, that's it, Ghana, in your time away, I've, I've, uh, and my time away, I've learned how to improve my god-awful American accent. Also, there are not clips that will get me cancelled. It's just clips that, if you take it out of context, it seems like I'm saying something. But I'm just mimicking what someone else said, just to be clear. Then I made the principal... Sorry, then I made the possibly fatal decision to inform Principal Wells I saw Nathan waving a gun in the bathroom. I didn't think I should mention the girl on my, all my new rewind abilities, for obvious reasons. 
He didn't want to believe me and almost made me feel like shit for telling him that Blackwell's most big fucking deal student would carry a firearm to class. I couldn't tell him that he actually killed a girl in, the, in a previous timeline. So my school day started with an ap apocalyptic dream that ended with saving a life and discovering I have some kind of power to rewind time. I don't know how to top that. All this reading. <laughs> Paraguay, you and me both, man. You can skim through the reading of stream. You've caught up with the backstory. That's true. This is all stuff. So we're a little over halfway through. Let's carry on with the lighthouse this bit. And then, like Abby said, we've at least now caught up on the backstory. So that's helpful. I think the rest of the journal entries are just kind of things that have already happened, which are nice to read. It's good to kind of get her tone of voice. But you sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Exactly, Thor. Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. But you I'm just told me I shouldn't have you. done that. And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. Damn. Brad, have a great night's sleep. Thank you so much. I'm glad I took his photo with Kate. Just in case. Why was he all up in her shit? He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? <laughs> you know, I wanted to, but I realized I have enough mystery in my life. I'd like to find out. I bet he's got some serious porn in there. Ugh. Good thing you didn't look. He's a total surveillance fetish. There were there spy cams in the house? About I that. I you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it. He's so hella fucking paranoid. I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. Damn. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. I mean, these are both technically right. He is still dangerous, but we should probably call the police. Or is, is the police, oh God. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Oh, good thing you notified the principal. I feel safer already. Well, I didn't know he was- I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you well, after all these years To be fair, years, she like saved me. Destiny. God, now I think the whole town is paid off by the 
Matt, Nathan's back. We probably should have called the police. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcady Bay and turn it to fucking glass. Jesus. A ghost, dear. Yes, I'm sure that's exactly what I've done. I've rewound back to the the founding oh, of Arcadia. I have to find out. It's a bit creepy, frankly. Oh my god! I'm sorry. It's called a Patronus. That maybe this is where um. They got the idea from. Can I jump this? I've never seen a storm like this in Oregon. I know exactly. It can't even dodge roll this. How do I? How do I get over this? A new path? Question mark. Yeah, Snape's guiding me. Oh, sorry. As you rewind, you can move ahead of time to teleport I myself. Feel like the how the hell do I do that? Wow, this is so, this is like, yeah. This is exactly what happens in the last Deathly Hallows book. Which one came out first? Life is Strange or the Deathly Hallows? This feels like the end of the world. Oh no. Okay. Oh, it would have been Deathly Hallows would have come out first. I, I just realized this came out in 2015. Oh my lord! The tornado is back! Is this for real? No, this is no, there's no way this is real. Oh. Can I die? Okay. Maybe I need to rewind time? No. Oh God! Well, to be frank, Abby, I don't think I can complete this if I don't rewind time. I can't rewind any further. What am I meant to be doing? I know this is literally so silly. Try, yeah, try resting at Grace, exactly. I can't teleport anywhere. But you can move forward and rewind. How do I move forward? Oh, I can move forward and rewind. But I can't literally move forward. Huh? Go to across to the bench before it falls. 
Jesus. I wasn't expecting some precision timing in, uh, in Life is Strange. Oh, I... October 11th? Is this Friday? That's only four days away. Okay. Tomato is headed straight for the town. Not real. It can't be a real tornado. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Is that really? It's real? Morgan gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. We just saw them. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But I, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Why would it be 80 degrees in Max, October? Start from the beginning. Tell me everything. I'm so confused. We're in October in the Pacific Northwest. It's cold. I'll, I'll ask Paraguay. The weather is strange. I'm, I'm noticing. I'm, I'm picking up on that. It seems... Maybe the tornado is real then. Because the snow. It's obviously very strange weather effects going on. Yes, Chloe. Yes, yeah, yeah. There will be. And I'm also going to post this on YouTube, but I don't know when. But the VOD on on Twitch, I'm going to leave up. I expect the beginning to be muted, though, unfortunately. Thank you for the follows, guys. Thank you so much. It's beautiful music. Beautiful music. It's great going and seeing all of the people of interest reacting to the weather because I think we've almost met all people we've not met her mom and who else have we not met I think we're missing one other person but I don't know who obviously oh Chloe you're such a sweetheart thank you so much Ooh, creepy Creepy, creepy, creepy. Okay. So we can see our choices that we've made. I reported Nathan, which seems to be the most common choice. I comforted Victoria, which is also the most common choice, surprisingly. I took a photo of David harassing Kate, which I guess is the least common choice. That seems only 13% of players do that. And then I stayed hidden which 34% of players did. So I'm in like the median. It's Donnie Darko all over again. Oh no. Poor Kate. Wow. That's wild. Okay. Oh, here we go. There's more. I let Daniel take my portrait. I didn't sign the petition. That's an even 50-50 split. I helped Alyssa, which is what most people do. You erased the insults on Kate's slate, which is also what most people do. I didn't water my plant. Oh no. 
In real life, I don't water my plants either. So I guess that really is um, life, art imitating life. <gasps> I didn't touch Dana's pregnancy test. No, I didn't see it. And it seems majority of people missed the pregnancy test. Shit. That's probably why Dana was particularly upset. I didn't touch Victoria's photos. No. You didn't write on the dirty RV. I did save the bird, which I'm surprised is such an even 50-50 split. And I didn't break Chloe's snow globe. That's good. Oh, and that's it. It's not giving me the stats on... I guess it doesn't give you the stats on, like, key events that you do. Oh, wait. Back episodes? Okay. We are going to pause here for today. Thank you, everyone, so much.